Hey guys, so today I'm going to be telling y'all my goals for 2019. I do want to make this a yearly thing where I share my goals with you. And yes, I have my pajamas on again. I'm wearing the same shirt I wore last year because I just thought I'd make it also a tradition. Let's just talk about this for a second. So some people don't like to share them, which I totally get because they feel like it puts too much pressure on themselves. For me, that's not something that I worry about just because goals are just something that I set that I hope to accomplish that year. And most of these things I know I will accomplish, but then others I know will be a challenge for me to accomplish which is the same for last year and I did recently watch my goals for 2018 just to see what my goals were I pretty much accomplished a lot of them and it was so weird seeing me back in that position but I'm gonna give you all a little update on the whole church situation I don't think I did any vlogs this year I think I might have posted one in January it's crazy it's been a year <laughs> so the whole church situation I'm still at the same church that I was talking about that I said was big and that I wasn't involved with and I'm totally involved now and I'm so happy to be involved I'm going to an event tonight that I went to last year at this time. It's crazy because last year I had like no friends there. I had like one friend. I had fun. I can't imagine how much fun I'm gonna have tonight because like I know so many more people and yeah I have a great friend group now at church and at school and just in life in general. It's a great time. There's a little update on my life. I love New Year's because new year, new beginning, fresh start, new goals. So I told y'all that I watched my goals for 2018. I wasn't gonna watch it and then I was gonna include it in this video and be like reacting to my goals to whatever. And I feel like I met all of those besides one and it's still on my goals for this year because it's something that I need to improve on. We're gonna get started and you'll soon find out what it is. Some of these will be makeup goals, some of these will be personal goals. It's just all mixed up. There's no order. I just wrote them down as I thought of them. My first one is to do more makeup on people. I've never done makeup on people like as as in paid wise I've done it for my friends I don't feel like I need to be paid I'm just saying I want to get more confident in doing makeup on people I love doing makeup on myself but I just want to get out of my comfort zone and do makeup on people it makes me uncomfortable and I feel like I'm not very good at it so I definitely do need to do more practice I'm like so hard on myself when it comes to makeup and so when I do it on them I'm like oh my goodness this looks awful and they're like what this looks so good I'm like no this looks awful I just want to get more comfortable doing makeup on people and also starting to do it for money. I don't really want to become a makeup artist. I just want it to be fun, but also just like a thing where I can make a little money from it. My number two is I want to film with my friends. I want to do like actual challenges. I want to film doing makeup with my friends, doing get ready with me's with my friends, where we just talk or just doing a vlog or a drive with me. I really want to do like drive with me. So just let me know down below what videos you want me to do with my friends. Number three is to expand my babysitting business or just to get another job because I don't make money from YouTube and I'm not out of school yet so I'm not getting like a big girl job. I want to either get a job or babysit. I want to expand. I want to put myself out there. I'm very uncomfortable when it comes to that. I'm not like here tell your friends about me babysitting and I have business cards and stuff like that but yeah I have like three families that I babysit for and it's very inconsistent. Like it's probably like once every like two months. That's not consistent money. I do house sit and dog sit so I do want to expand that as well because I love house sitting. It's so much fun. So if you're watching this and you know me hit me up for babysitting and or house sitting. Number four is to wear makeup out in public. This was the goal that I said last year that I did not fulfill. There was a few times where I did wear makeup in public, but it was not where I was in full on glam, like eyelashes and everything. There are so many times I'll wash it off like right after I film. If I'm going out, I purposely take my makeup off. I don't want to do that. I want to wear makeup in public. I want to be confident in it. I'm more confident in no makeup and sweats. This is my mindset. Like, I don't care what people think about how I look if I'm, like, wearing sweats and, like, my hair is messy and my face is messy and, like, if I'm not wearing makeup, like, I don't care what people think about me then. But then it's, like, I care what people think about me if I'm wearing makeup, which makes no sense. So I need to get over that. This year is going to be the year where I go in public with my makeup on many times. I was reading over this before I filmed this and I was like, wow, that's very serious. So I said, continue to be positive through this season of life that I feel is pointless. I just hate school if you didn't know that. I just want to continue to be positive. I love encouraging people, so I just need to encourage myself. <laughs> My main goal is just to be positive all the time. Yes, you have your down moments. I'm not perfect. I have many, many down moments. One thing that I realized I do is I definitely cover up my emotions. I didn't used to like block out my emotions. I used to just cry whenever I needed to and 
didn't bottle up my emotions. Now all I do is bottle them up and it's really bad because then I break down and I'm literally the most negative thing ever. It's not good. So I just really need to stop bottling up my emotions. I would be like, why would I be like sad over this situation when I can just be positive through it and be like extra hyper? That's what I would do. And I thought that that was fine, but that's not fine. I need to let my emotions out or you get emotionally constipated, which I recently learned that phrase and it's so true. I love this. I feel like I'm just like talking to a therapist. Number six is kind of cringy. Like I didn't even remember that I put this on here, but I said make the first move. Honestly, boys are just clueless. I need to stop liking people and not doing anything about it because then other opportunities will come along for them and they'll go for them because they didn't know or maybe they would have not done it like even if they knew. Either way, I would have never known if you know what I'm saying. I want to make the first move not that that's kissing like maybe not but like you know number seven is to not be sad about being single to embrace it i know that many of us girls are always like oh my goodness i'm single i don't have a man and most of the time i'm joking about it but you joke about it but you're not really joking about it if you know what i'm saying i want to not be sad about it because i know the second that i stop obsessing over it and stop being sad about it that's whenever an opportunity will come along why can't i just get over it number eight is so last year i was like i don't want to set a number because i don't even think i'm going to be at 100 which i have surpassed 100 right now when i'm filming this video it's actually december 28th but i'm at 188 subscribers which is crazy because the beginning of last year i was like i don't even know if i'm going to be at 100 subscribers which is so sad and i'm almost to 200 which maybe i won't even get to 200 i'm not sure like i don't want to get my hopes up but i'm going to set a number this year i said grow my youtube channel hopefully be at 300 subscribers so i'm setting a smaller goal my mindset i want to say 500 but i know that i probably won't get there so i'm gonna say 300 and i really want to be at 300 by the end of the year that's only 112 more people i grew 130 people last year even though i don't make money off of it i'm putting all my passion into my youtube channel because that's the reason that i started i didn't start it to make money because i knew that i wouldn't i kind of want to just do like a whole video on youtube because i have so many thoughts about it it's helped me so much not looking at the numbers when i upload a video I don't ever check my video unless like someone comments. That's just been the biggest thing for me is just to not check my views, not check my numbers at all, and then I'll be surprised and be happy. Number nine is to vlog in public. The first time I ever do it will probably be with a friend because where I live, no one does this. A lot of people are starting to do a YouTube channel where I live now and they just do it with their phone, which is fine. But I feel like they're not starting it for the right reasons. They're acting too much not like themselves. They're acting like Emma Chamberlain. If that's themselves, then great. I feel like they're just trying to be the next big thing. People just don't do that here, so if I vlog in public, it will definitely be with a friend. And I just want to vlog more. Anyways, number 10, I really, really want to read through my Bible this year. I didn't say that in my goals last year. I thought that I did, and I'm glad I didn't. I would have been pounded to the ground because I didn't at all. I read Matthew, Mark, Luke during the summer, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to read my Bible, and then I didn't just being honest I have my devotional that I do and I'm doing it like again but I think I'm just gonna stop that completely and just read the Bible I just really want to read the whole Bible this year whether that's just reading as much as I can each day or like setting a plan number 11 is to do more mission work locally yes I love mission trips I talked about this a little in my Haiti video I will link it down below you don't at all have to go out of the country or even out of your state to mission to people you can stay in your state you can just go to the park anything like that you can mission and evangelize to people in your state, in your area. I really want to do that more because that's going to be going out of my comfort zone because then you never know. You could see people that you know and you pray over them. Number 12, I really want to expand my Spanish. I want to go outside of school. I don't want to just do what I'm learning in school. I know that there's so much more than that. I want to put my personal life into it because I really want to be fluent in Spanish. I don't know if y'all know this and over the summer I don't want to like stop. I want to keep learning and practice my speaking because that's where I'm not good at. I can do vocab. Speaking is where I'm not good. The last one is to change my Instagram. I want it to be more about my YouTube channel. My Instagram right now is Allie in Makeup and I want it to be Allie in YouTube. I only post makeup pictures on there because it says Allie in Makeup and I don't want to be posting like, hey, I posted this because that doesn't have to do with makeup. So I really want to change my Instagram and I want it to be more just lifestyle. Like I can do like fashion pictures on there too, not just like makeup selfies. I want to do more of just like my life on there, but also just my YouTube channel. Those are my goals for 2019. It's so crazy to say because 
2019 is already here. Thank you to everyone who joined me in 2018 and I really hope you continue to stay in 2019 and tell me down below your goals for 2019 if you want to share them. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribe down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!